Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. I get a lot asked a lot, a lot of questions about these pit bike ignitions and how do I do this and how do I do that. And sometimes I, I when I'm asked these questions, I'm wondering if my videos are as clear as they could be. So let me let me try again. This is my um, 70cc uh, China Quad. It's kind of a Honda clone motor. Um, it it's a piece of junk I bought at a um, car show a few years ago, and quite honestly, it just sits out here as my test bed. So that's what I have for an engine. Um, and what I did is I bought this pit bike ignition here. And you can see, you see the CDI, and that's right there. You see the wire harness. It even came with a stop switch, though I'm not playing with that today. came with the spark coil. So once again, right, there's the CDI. There's the spark coil. All the wires hanging off of it are the wire harness. And this is the wire harness coming off the engine and just note a few things note a green wire and what did I do with the green wire I plugged it right into the wire harness the wire harness has a few extra green wires so I put an alligator clamp on one and you see I clipped it to the body see the blue and white coming out of the motor and see the blue and white coming out of the wire harness right I just hook them up together that simple see the red and black coming out of the wire harness and once again it's going right into the red and black coming out of the motor that's all this is just your standard pit bike ignition notice one other wire this black and white notice how I have it looped back to itself and taped up and doing nothing. If you have a pit bike that won't start, the key switch is messed up or whatever your story is, if you disconnect it or float it as I have here, right, it's hooked to nothing, right, you no longer have a stop switch. There are pluses and minuses about not having a stop switch. The plus about not having a start switch, your engine will start. The minus is you can't turn it off unless you choke it out or pull, you know, one of the other wires or do something along those lines. So, anyway, I hooked it all up, right? Not that difficult, right? This is my capacitive jump pack. This is 56 farads. Um, and... Um, anyway, I charged it up. I used the battery charger and charged it up. So I got the carburetor on there. I have it on choke. You can see, right, I think you guys could kind of see a bubble in there. The, um, I'm just using the gas line. I'm not, I don't have a, um, a gas tank on this thing. And once again, see the spark plug wires all nice and hooked up. And if I just tickle the starter a little bit and the gas. Actually sounds halfway decent. And to shut this thing down, I just disconnected the pulser. Probably not the best thing to uh, disconnect. You really don't want to blow anything up. So that's how easy it is. So if there's somebody out there, you know, 
you find somebody to give you one of these things, um, you buy one for 50 bucks or whatever, assuming the engine will turn around and you have compression, it's that easy to start. You go to eBay, invest another 16 bucks, right? Free shipping. It does take a little while. These come from China, so it takes a little while to get to you. But there you go. Um, that's the person I bought it from, by the way. And if you're searching it, wiring, loom, harness, kill switch, ignition coil, CDI for 50 to 160 cc pit. I've used these things on, um, on you know, the 200 cc stuff, Honda. I've used these on um, 250 cc big reds. It's just a matter of what do you need? You need a pulse generator, blue and white. You need the power coming from the um, from the stator, which is red and black, and you always need ground. I mean, you can figure out, you gotta put the spark plug wire on. And once again, with the wire harness, it's, it's really, um, right? Green, one side of the coil. Um, black and yellow to the other side of the coil. It's, it's a piece of cake. So if you get one of these for 50 bucks and you spend another 16 on a coil, if you're some kid out there who wants his first bike for, you know, like less than $70, you have a bike to ride. What I'm going to show you next is I, um, I put together a more, I'm going to use the word active ignition system for this thing. Um, it's a DC 12 volt powered one, but I'll, I'll show you how that one hooks up and how to make it go and so forth also folks i want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing continue to ask questions um the ones that are hard to answer are the ones where you tell me i have a such and such pit bike that i've never heard of and the wire colors are different um well you have to figure out what wires go to the pulser what wires go to the stator and and go forward from there um problems i've seen with the china bikes not that i've worked on a million of them but probably at this point i've probably worked on a dozen of them i've not seen a stator go bad i have seen uh one that was new where the pulser was hooked up backwards where the um or the blue and white, if you went up to the pulser, was actually hooked to ground, and ground was actually hooked to the blue and white. So um, the thing would like pulse twice and stop pulsing when it was hooked up that way. So it would like fire, bang, bang, and then stop, fire, bang, bang, and stop. I took it all apart and I discovered those wires were backwards, so I resoldered them. Um, that fixed that motor. As a matter of fact, that's in this pile here somewhere or another. Um, I've seen that. I've not seen a bad pulser yet. Once again, I've m most of the time what I see on these things are these wires all completely hacked up where somebody lost the key or um I have I have seen a couple of um CDI units go bad. I have seen that on the China bikes and I've seen it on the Hondas. Um I haven't seen a coil go bad yet I imagine it happens but I haven't seen it yet mostly it's hacked wiring and I've just given you a pathway around that so there you go anyway folks once again thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your heads up and please get out there and enjoy all your days bye now folks